and I'm Steve Savant, syndicated financial columnist and funny color commentator. On today's show, your accountant needs to be a business analyst. Part two in our series on demystifying your financial statements with certified public accountant and MBA, Marcy Maslow. Welcome to the second segment, Marcy. Hi, Steve. Thanks again. Okay, so my accountant needs to be more than just a bookkeeper, basically, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So I need, give me an analysis that you think is the number one, and it's and nobody does it. Mm -hmm. What's that number one analysis? A P&L? What is it? Most entrepreneurs and business owners think that their net income is the same amount that should be in their bank. And that's not true. Okay, well, what is net income then? So net income is the accumulation of your sales minus the expenses to deliver your product or service. Mm -hmm. But if you accept a credit card, <laughs> if you um, have a lot of assets that you depreciate, uh, if you actually pay with a credit card, your income statement is not going to be necessarily a cash basis mm -hmm. profit. It's going to be all of those things that, you know, you are going to record the cash when you pay or when you <laughs> receive. So that's one of the big things that I teach. Um, as an analyst, I help people to understand the difference between cash and accrual. Mm -hmm. And your income statement is accrual. Your bank account is your cash. So do you have both going on at the same time, a you cash can. and accrual system? Yeah, it depends on what you elect for your bookkeeping. So yes, you can do both. Okay, so let's say I'm... You, I, off camera, we talked about how people won't come to accountants, mm -hmm. and, and especially in this case, accountants with mm -hmm. a business analyst background yeah. because they don't want to look like losers. They don't want to be viewed as stupid or not knowing something or that they don't have control of their <laughs> business. That's one of the big things. People think that they've lost control of their business if they don't know their accounting. Well, how, can I, how can I get past that as an owner? You know, I mean, you're, you're not here to judge me. No, I'm, I'm actually, I can help you find money. If, mm -hmm. you, if you build a relationship with me, and this is a trust relationship, mm -hmm. and you tell me what's going on and tell me, you know, where you want to go and plan for it, then I can actually help you to understand where you're at today, mm -hmm. where you want to go, what the gap is, and then I can help you keep on track so that you know where you are at any point mm -hmm. in time. That's one of the things I did for the corporate world when mm -hmm. I was in business, uh, in, in uh, a job, Motorola, 20th Century, Fox, mm -hmm. Pepsi. I was the analyst. I did the month-end review. I explained what went well, what went poorly. I explained where we were compared to the full-year budget. I explained which products were profitable. I explained which um, business units were profitable, which ones needed to be shut down, whether we had money to hire people. These are all mm -hmm. the kinds of things that I can do for you as a business owner mm -hmm. and an analyst of your business. Okay, so some of your business is beyond just the number, and you're kind of pastoral, and mm -hmm. you have to kind of hear the person's confession. He has some bad boy behaviors. And, and, and I don't even hear, I mean, you know, what I do is I create a safe space. That's mm -hmm. part of my coaching background. Mm -hmm. I create the safe space so we have a stake in the ground. Mm -hmm. We start here, this is where we're at, this is where we mm -hmm. want to go, and we figure out, you know, what the strategies might be uh, to get there. Well, in an analyst position, now that I know that I can get both, mm -hmm. I'm looking for a resume that carries not only your accounting uh, background and basic bookkeeping, but I need to look at numbers, and I may not even know what those mean. You mm -hmm. just said net income, mm -hmm. and people are saying, hey, it's my money in the bank, and that mm -hmm. isn't the definition. That's so not. can you can you give me a kind of a, how do I get there as a business person? Like, mm -hmm. you're going to tell me, here are your three, four, five basic statements mm -hmm. I need, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. How do I know what I'm looking for? What mm -hmm. does it mean? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that I can have a good dialogue with my accountant now slash business analyst. Mm -hmm. Right. So here's the really, the biggest thing I can share with my clients and with my business owners and with your audience. It takes a little work. And you have to understand that you are going to have to take some work. You have to look at your numbers on a consistent basis. You have to ask questions. If you, if you have a bookkeeper right now or you have an accountant who's helping you, ask questions. How did this information get here? How did this number, you know, what does this number represent? You have to, um, mm -hmm. you, you can take some classes. You can hire a consultant. Um, I actually do online webinars and things like that to teach clients how to read the financial statements and understand the stories. So there's a lot of information out there. Google is a wonderful place. <laughs> well, let me stop you there and ask you, how much, there must be a minimum threshold of knowledge that you're looking for your entrepreneur mm -hmm. or your business owner. Mm -hmm. And if he doesn't have that, you can give him that webinar. You can mm -hmm. bring him up to his educational speed that he needs right. to be at. Right. Because most business owners, we're so enamored by our sales, our marketing. Mm -hmm. We're not getting into the, the numbers. And you said something in our, in a, at the either beginning of this segment or the last one where you said, 
oh yes, you know, we're we're trying to even calculate what was our product that had mm -hmm. the best margins. Right. Exactly. We don't even know that. How mm -hmm. can we not know that being a business mm -hmm. person? Mm -hmm. Yet I've seen people go into the Shark Tank and get go through a meat grinder in the mm -hmm. Q and A sessions. Right where they don't know any of their numbers. Exactly right. And that's the average. That's the average business owner does the not average. know. Yeah, they wow. do not know their numbers. They've never taken, think about it. Mm -hmm. Have you ever taken an accounting class? My, my, only one in high school. Right, yeah, so that's, that's a long time ago. So if you have never taken an accounting class, it's really difficult for you to actually mm -hmm. do a skill that you don't have training for. So part of it is just recognizing that. That's maybe when you want mm -hmm. to start thinking about hiring someone to help educate you. Well, I was talking with a person the other day, and he said, Steve, I'm finally on QuickBooks. And he was <laughs> pretty much celebrating it. But right. he still didn't know mm -hmm. what, you know, am I putting the right input in the right mm -hmm. place, right? Mm -hmm. he, didn't, he didn't know that. So right. we keep thinking that's user-friendly. I'll just mm -hmm. default to buying this software. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work most of the time. No. We're just not in tune to the analytics, mm -hmm. the accounting practices, the definitions, right. we just don't know. Right, and QuickBooks has some good tutorials. So you can actually get some training from a QuickBooks mm. or a Xero or a FreshBooks or whichever software package you choose. Um, but it's uh, it, you do have to have some skill and knowledge about how to report things, where they belong. Is it an asset? Is it a liability? Now I'm getting, you know, the mm -hmm. high. I'm not going to get real technical with you. I'm much more of a mm -hmm. practical person. Um, plain English person, but mm -hmm. assets, liabilities, equity, those are the key accounting terms that you need to know. Well, one thing you said on our first interview back right. of three months ago shocked me. Mm -hmm. Your analysis and analytics mm -hmm. are going to help me plan mm -hmm. my marketing attack and my mm -hmm. sales strategies. Mm -hmm. I don't know if people put that together. Mm -hmm. I have information now mm -hmm. to change what I'm doing or mm -hmm. modify my right. out, uh, output. Do you make this a big deal? I make this a big deal because if you know those numbers and you know which things that you want to direct your time to, you mm -hmm. know which products are going to work, which ones you should take off the shelf, which services are going to benefit, you absolutely, th this is one of the, the biggest tips I can give people, know your numbers, get into the numbers, mm -hmm. understand how they got there, and an accountant can help you to do that much faster than you can on your own. And it ta I, I want to default and outsource that because it's taking time. Yeah taking time that I don't have and I don't have the expertise. Mm -hmm. You're still going to need to spend time, Steve. Mm -hmm. You're still going to have to make time to meet with your accountant, mm -hmm. you know, an hour a month, an hour a quarter, or something like that, that you make sure that you you know your number so you don't get to the end of the year and go, oh, my God, I have to pay a bunch of taxes, or, oh, my God, but, I'm losing money. But if I'm meeting with you, Marcy, as an example, right. if I'm meeting with you once a month mm -hmm. for an hour, mm -hmm. you have the numbers, mm -hmm. you've kind of brought me up a little bit of educational speed now. Kind right. of, I kind of know what you're talking about now. Yay! <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy to hear that. Yeah, no, I'm just for me. I'm making that up for myself. You know, uh, but 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 then you you have this ability then go going from bookkeeper to analysis. Mm -hmm. My analytics now, based on your numbers right. and you're able able to teach me. Right. I'm going to make quantitative decisions on marketing and sales. To me, yeah. that is a you're now part of the marketing team. Right. You just crossed over from mm -hmm. hey, I have this back office person in the way back in my office. Yeah. Now, that person now has to be an integral part of my mm -hmm. marketing team. No more gut instinct. Mm -hmm. I, I'll tell you a story. I worked for a company where they actually went and sold a, a deal. Then they came to me for the cost. And when I figured out the cost, they were going to lose five cents per, uh, per product because they didn't actually come to me first to figure out what that mm -hmm. product was. I can save that for you. So I need to be an integral wow. part of your decision-making team to help you understand what your costs are, where you're spending money. It's not just the bookkeeping anymore. Mm -hmm. It's not just, here's your numbers at the end of a month. It's it's part of the decision-making team. I can be a value to you, find you mm -hmm. money. I can be a value to you to help you decide which service might be the best for you. There's a lot of things we can do to help you use your money wisely and make better decisions. You just said something no huge. Longer you just said something huge. Yeah. You can find money. Mm -hmm. Now, see, this is something like, well, I have my bank accounts. Mm -hmm. Don't I know where my money is? Mm -hmm. I know what's in the bank. Mm -hmm. But you're not talking like that. No. No, because if you're making a lot of decisions by gut, you're kind of hoping and praying you're going to make a profit on whatever you're doing mm -hmm. or that that investment that you're going to make is going to return on you know for you. If you actually do an analysis before you make the purchase, you're going to know what the expectation is going to be, and then you're going to be able to measure your success, whether you mm -hmm. measure it or not. And that's part of what we can do as accountants for you. Okay, so and from now on, going forward, as our listeners in the audience, when we're talking about an accountant, we want somebody that actually understands business analytics. Mm -hmm. And those are the things that we really need to look at because now, all of a sudden, my accountant is now part of my marketing team. See, to me, mm -hmm. that's a major 
change in my thinking. Mm -hmm. Listen, don't forget to watch our next segment on business budgeting, part three of our series on demystifying your financial statements. And keep in mind, before moving forward with any of the ideas on the show, always check with your tax consultant, legal counsel, or financial advisor. You've been watching Steve Savant's Money, the name of the game. Oh my